narrator dies. Welcome everyone to story time with Zero. Grab a chair, grab a friend, some popcorn, cause we're gonna have some amazing, amazing story time. My volume is way too loud, I need to lower this down. Give me a second. Me too. Alright, now there we go. Story time with Zero! Yeah! Go ahead. Alright. So, now that the interruptions or out of the way and now we can proceed to the story this will be a a school time kind of a plot kind of a story going on i personally made this plot right off the top of my head for after like five minutes so yeah i'm gonna try my best the last week the final week the week everyone has been waiting for the week that would unleash heaven and hell from their confined shackles. Mix every ounce of good and evil together to create a baby. A wonderful yet, mo yet murderous and, dis and disastrous baby. The last week of school. This majestic being show itself. Uh, what the? Uh, I lost my place. Upon the human world and declare it his domain. Me, me, I have anticipated this occasion and is fully prepared to face this onslaught. May the battle be- Narrator dies. <laughs> Vengeance will be ours. You know the funny thing is that I was able to use my- <laughs> I was pulling somebody back when Johnny said that. <laughs> but um, okay. Start of the week, Monday morning, I I wake up in my room. It's dark and gloomy, as I remember that we have only one week of school left. Why? Why do I think this is such a horrible time? It should be happy. It's school is over. Summer is starting. Why? Why is it so bad? I. I don't understand anymore. Nine o'clock, first period. I I walk walk through these halls late at night because I'm scared. Wait, no, not late at night. What am I talking about? Jeez, I'm bad. But yes, I walk through these halls late because yo, I actually gotta kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. Only, only people smart enough would come either early, too early, or too late. Oh, I'm doing great. I did great. Do you see what I did? Look at that. Rachel! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I walking, did very good. Walking through the rush hour would be a bloodbath. I, s I watched the lockers to my left and right. They're covered with blood. I, I don't know what to do. So I make it to class in one piece. But I'm not sure if I may survive much longer. <laughs> the, the principal comes on the intercom and is giving us a message of warning that there has been an invader into the school. I, I knew that this would happen because it is the last day. Everything happens on the last day. The last day is literally the last day. You don't want to be there on the last day. These... He described these invaders as... Beings that he's never seen before. Things that he could never imagine. With a horrible, horrible screech. The intercom come out, came out. Everyone was shocked. We didn't know what to do. Oh, except for me. I knew what to do. I knew what had happened. The principal was dead. Everyone was still in shock. But why? But why me? Of all people. Why this random ass kid? 
I don't know. Because the world is ridiculous. So you know what? That's why. That's why. I'm sorry, I accidentally shot you I... thinking you were a zombie. Jeez, Rachel! <laughs> shooting me! I'm sorry! I thought you were a zombie, so I shot you like five times on accident. <laughs> but then, the teacher and the other students just stood there, not knowing what to do. So what I did, I left. Because I knew, as, as I heard from the classroom next door, that horrible screech once again. It was, it, it was them. They were coming for us. They, they knew. They planned it all along. They knew that we would have been in shock, but I'm not. What, what should I do? Should I tell them? Should I just run away and save myself? Cover so me, I'm black and white. So that's what and I- am gonna heal. So that's what I did. I- I ran. I- I have no- I have no regrets. I- I keep hearing the shriek over and over and over replaying in my mind like- Like a recorded mixtape. I- Yes. I- I run- I run from the school and I go home. Awaiting for the next day to come. What do I do now? Great. Uh, Monday night, in my bedroom, chilling. I contemplate what what had happened today. My classmates are probably dead. Majority of the school is probably dead too. The it's police. Like some high school the the dead stuff. Know about it. Huh? Sounds like some high school of the dead stuff. Yeah. The police, the police don't know. Nobody knows. I'm just by myself. By myself. All alone. I'm the only one. I'm the last one. Alright. Tuesday. Tuesday morning. <clears throat> I... I don't know what brought... Brought me to wake myself up in the morning. I a present. Yeah. Come pick me up! <laughs> I am! I don't... I don't know what brought me to bring myself up to go to this wretched place again. Why do I continue to torture myself again and again and again coming back here? I don't have to. It's... It's a... It's... It's an insane asylum. I don't... Why am I here? This isn't a school. I was never in school. This is, this is probably why I knew. This is probably why they're dying. This is probably why no one is helping. Because they all know. They all knew. That we're done for since the beginning. So they sent these creatures in here because we survived. We were... We were those... We were the special ones. But no, they couldn't have those among the regular human race because we would outclass them. So they sent these creatures to kill us. But no, we know. We know. We know how to outsmart them and how to beat them. Because we're better. Ugh. I kind of, I'm kind of lost. Uh, okay, can we like take a break? On your story. Break time. Um, if you guys enjoyed the story, I switched it over from like a school to like some Outlast stuff. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed his story, you can go check him out in my description. How you doing? Um, if you'd like to become part of the Otaku family, please give me a subscribe down below. Thank you. Uh, and part two will be uh s soon. The story will continue. Yes. Very shortly. All right. Well, I will. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Like, like a bullet train.